Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we are joined by the one, the <laughs> only Aaron Leachy. Hello, thanks for having me. I mean, we were just saying that what world is this that we are two New Yorkers in and LA. we are here in LA meeting in person? And That's crazy. Not only are we here in LA as two New Yorkers, we brought I brought the New York weather with me. This is, I mean, this is, it, it's cold, right? It's cold and it's pouring for two it's days pouring. straight, which is why I'm wearing this hat. And people, well, it's a Valentino hat, so there yeah, you go. Yeah, at least it's Valentino. Got uh, people, it on sale. People don't go out. I mean, literally, I went out last night. Sunday night, it was, it was even worse on Sunday. People are like, how are you I going heard. out? Well, everything's flooded here. They it's don't, flooded. they're like not equipped for rain. They're not it's equipped wild. for rain here. I mean... So what's going on with you? I mean, listen, R-H-O-N-Y season 14, we're going to talk about your mezcal, but season 14 has yes. come, it's gone, you filmed it, you got it, the reunion is aired, press, you learned about blogs, and I mean, like, when you take a step back and reflect on it, like, how has this experience been? You know, I don't have much time to do any self-reflection, which would, it would be nice. Maybe Wouldn't I'll do it nice? this week without my kids and husband when I'm alone in my hotel, um, but it's, it was a whirlwind, really. I think there is so much that you only will learn from doing it. Um, you know, everybody gave me great advice, like, don't read the comments. And, you know, like, be careful with the people that you're filming with when you think that they're your best friends and things like that. And you don't learn it until you do it, you know? Do you read the comments? I did. I think everyone does. I think... You know, I said I wouldn't because I'm not like a big Instagram person. Like I, I like it. I enjoy it. I look at like fun things. I like cooking videos, things like that. But I'm not like I don't get in the weeds. I don't like go on Reddit. Like I don't do that right. stuff. So I didn't think that I would. I just thought like, you know, whatever. I'll yeah, I'm sure I'll see something. But I'm not. But you get sucked in. And I think it's impossible to avoid. Yeah. And it's really pointless because the people that are saying horribly mean things are not people that – I think have a big bearing on the show. Like those are, they're just like a small, very loud, mean minority, you know? Yes. That's how I say it with anyone. Like what person is going on Instagram? Like, are you going on Instagram and being like, fuck you, you stupid you, bitch you, after you watching a show? here. No, I would never. And it's just, I would never. And I used to clap back in the beginning at people. Same. And now I'm done I doing it. Right. I truly I read the comments for my own selfish, like, I think if I engage, you're more likely to listen. Right. But I really, and I could honestly say I internalize absolutely nothing. That's I just great. think it took a minute to get yeah, there. Yeah, it it's And hurtful. people don't believe me, but I truly can say I internalize nothing. Like, I don't care. Like, truly. I mean, I love the comments. I love when people interact with me and, like, I, like, lately I've been posting these cooking videos and people will be like, oh, my God, thanks so much. Like, what can I substitute this for that. And like, that's so fun. Or if I'm wearing something, they'll be like, well, where'd you get it? And it's like, I, I love that kind of interaction, but when it's just dark and mean and, and like, like, like saying horrible things, even about my friends or other people on the show, like, I'm not into that. You know, I don't yeah. want to deal with that. Yeah. Someone gave me good advice in the beginning and they're like, you know, half the, and I mean, you're on a much more huge platform, but someone was like, you know, people are going to live for you and love every word you say, and other people are going to hate you no matter what you say. And they're like, you know what? Neither of those two groups knows you. And I'm right. like, that is the best freaking advice. Mm, that is good. Right? Yeah, I like that. And so, like, you can't be built up from all the people that love you because it's like then you give credence to the people that try to tear you down. Isn't this good advice here today? It is, actually. I like that. And Yeah, you just have to honestly, I think, especially with reality, which I think is a challenge for people. And now that I'm in it, I see it, like, from the inside, sort of, like, looking out. Um, I think it's hard for people to stay authentic because they want to please, you know, the people that criticize them or the people that love them. You know, they, they want to please both, just like what you're saying. But you really just can't change. And if you change, I think the viewers are smart enough to know that you're changing because you want to be liked. You know, you just have to be yourself. Do so. you think, because, like, you, did you grow up watching, I mean, I'm doing the math. The math I is mean, mathing. the OGs, like, of course. You did. And I can't stand when people say they didn't. Like, obviously you did. I didn't watch all the franchises. I liked OC. I wasn't, like, I, I didn't keep up with it. I liked Beverly Hills. That I kept up with. 
That's not, a good one. To not keep forever, alive. but like I would miss a season. But Roni, like old Roni, was great. Then I fell off of it. I I I get it. Yeah. Do you think like because you know you are thirty six, so just doing the math, like you grew up watching the shows, yeah. like the so like do you think people like this new generation, like do you come in stud? Not you, just in general, like your castmates. Not, not at all. I mean, me. I don't know right. what the other girls did. I I don't honestly I don't think. I mean, I'm sure they all watched. And, right. I, and when they, if anyone says that they didn't, they're lying. Thanks. But yeah, but um. I have an issue where I cannot not be myself. Like I almost wish sometimes that I could be a little like, I, honestly, like I feel like I saw, I watched things back and I was like, wow, that was strategic or wow. Like that was kind of smart. Like they must've thought of that beforehand. I, I I'm going to start, I'm going to try, but like, I can't change my reaction. I can't mask how I feel like I'm very direct and I've always been that way. So I just don't know how to do that. That's Unless good. I have a script. I mean, that's good. I think that's the problem with Housewives. Like, as people get into season four and five, I just think, like, oh, Aaron, do you, re do you remember me when we were at Melrose Rockhead Studios four years ago? Not that people don't come right. back. It's just more like, this is not the same person. Like, right. these are all canned answers. And just in my yeah. experience, I see it so many times. There's I so could many see people. that. I could see that. Yeah. Like, what happened? Right. Did you feel pressure coming in just because, like, Roni was such a thing, you know, for 13 seasons, like, you know, and then we rebooted yes. it? Like, there was a lot. Yeah. I think that we were – yes, I do, I do think we all felt it because some people, like – I mean, uh, people weren't that excited in the beginning, I don't think, at least. Like, they, people were – there were some – there was some excitement, but I feel like it was like, bring back the OGs, you know, which I get. Listen, these women gave a huge piece of their lives to this show. They made it what it is. And, like, here we are, all new, stepping into it, what they've built. So I get it. Um, but, you know, we kind of just went with it. We just did. Do you have, like, from your first season, like, what sticks out is, like, just one of the best memories? We've all watched it. Everyone listening the, to this okay, has watched the it. The best memory w w did not air. So does that count? Yeah. We came back from Anguilla. There were so many fun moments in Anguilla that, like, you know, they don't have that much time to show. So, like, you totally. didn't get to see a lot of it. But um, – and it was hijacked by my hijacking. But um, – uh, we came home one night and we were all like a little tipsy and we did, we, they built us this gorgeous fire by the beach where we had this like amazing, it was actually beautiful. They built this like bench out of the sand and we were all just, were like sitting around the fire. It was really huh. cool. And we just decided to do improv. And at one of the scenes, like I, Jessel was my intern and I was Jenna Lyons. And we, when I tell you, we were crying tears. Like we were laughing so hard. We were all had to like do That's each other. Funny. We had so much fun. That like sticks out. It was really fun. What about the opposite? I mean, Anguilla also. <laughs> like that there wasn't was a lot that happened. In yeah, Anguilla. that wasn't great.